Tell us about the difference to Second Ward uh, Neighborhood Block Watch Group meetings, because uh, a couple that I've been to, they're always very thankful to you as the councilman that mm -hmm. says, hey, we never had this opportunity of a give and take with the council member or the police department. And, and the people you bring to these Neighborhood Block mm -hmm. Watch meetings also help with this effort. Yes. Tell us about yes, that. Yes, no, absolutely, uh, Mayor. And you're right, I'm, I'm glad you did mention, because the police department is an important part of those neighborhood meetings. Uh, they attend the neighborhood meetings with me and the uh, detectives that I work with on there, they are great. They're also very responsive and very helpful at, at these meetings. You know, we try to educate um, our residents as to what are some of the things that we can do, what are things that they can do on their own. You know, we share information um, and, and move, move issues forward. I mean, again, things such as catch basins, for instance, we've had issues of that uh, that need repair or that just are clogged and need to be cleaned. Trees that, you know, needed to be cut or needed to be trimmed. You know, lamps, lights on the streets that were out. And it's just, you know, little things like that, you know, that the neighbors and the residents have asked for my help in that I've been able to help them with. Um, rumble strips, for instance, also, because there have been issues, you know, again, those are some of the issues that when I first ran, I, I noticed um, about the issue, the safety and concerns that people had. We've been able to address some of that by placing some rumble strips for the, you know, these young kids that are racing their cars around. And in fact, we put a speed monitor over at the corner of South Street and Rose Hill Place as well. And that has worked greatly to reduce you know, the speed of people as they're coming through that intersection. It's a very busy intersection and people are concerned if they go crossing the streets you know, that someone may get hurt. And we've had a few accidents there already. So as a result of that, we have been able to implement some things, you know, that have made a great difference in the communities. And uh, one of the things you've also done is improve improvements in your ward at the Washington Park area, the Bay Way, Caldwell yes. Place. Maybe we could talk about some of that as, as oh, well. Oh, yes. These are, again, a number of beautification, different projects. that, And again, thanks to the community, you know, bringing some of these things to my attention. You know, I have been able to forge forward, and, and thanks to, you know, your administration and, and the staff there, uh, you know, they've been very helpful in helping us do some of those things. And you mentioned Washington Park, for instance. That was just a piece of land where there was nothing there. It was barren. It had been an old um, repair shop. Uh, we took that repair shop, and working with other groups um, like Groundworks Elizabeth, we were able to take that and make it a nice little pocket park there where we put some trees, some shrubbery, we put some pavers, we put a nice sign. We were able to do that and now everybody in the neighborhood there, they say, great, this is a wonderful thing. Along Bayway, uh, also what I was able to do was to get, you know, to beautify the area. We've put some planters all up and down from the beginning of uh, Bayway to, to the Bayway Circle. We put plant planters at the beginning of Bayway as you come off of the Gothels Bridge or the Turnpike and that. We put a nice sign, a welcoming sign, because we want people to feel welcome when they come here, that they know that this is a warm place, this is a good place to come as well in the city of Elizabeth. Um, I've done other things also. I've worked with county officials in terms of Matano Park. Matano Park we had on the South 5th Street side. The whole, there was a whole section of sidewalk that was missing. With my efforts and, and the, uh, the help of the county officials, we replaced that sidewalk. The bathrooms had been burned over at Matano Park. You know, again, pushing and working with the county, we were able to replace those bathrooms. They have new bathrooms there now. And, you know, we worked and we replenished, we refurbished, improved the playgrounds there as well. So there's, there's been a number of things. I'm looking at some other things also. Um, Caldwell Park, for instance, has been there for a very long time. And, uh, you know, we're trying to give it a facelift, if you will. Do something similar like we did in Washington Park. Put some pavers, put a nice sign. For our viewers yeah. that might not know where Caldwell Park is, where exactly? That, is. that is on South Street and DeHart Place and Rose Hill Place. That's where that near intersection Michelinos. convenes, near Michelino's Restaurant. That's correct. Um, Carteret Park as well. We're going to take a break and uh, come back and talk about Carteret Park and the efforts there with the School 14 uh, Block Watch Group, if you could stay with us. Okay. okay. Please stay with us after these messages. There'll be more with the councilman from the second ward, Councilman Nelson Gonzalez. Welcome back to our city where I'm pleased to be joined by the councilman from the second ward, Councilman Nelson Gonzalez, who before the break was starting to tell us about Carteret Park and his efforts in revitalizing Carteret Park, Councilman. 
Yeah, thank you, Mayor. Uh, yeah, again, as I was saying, you know, Carteret Park, you know, Carteret Park is a great park in, in the second ward, you know, and of course, over time, you know, uh, you know, some of it has deteriorated in that. And, and the uh, residents there have brought that to my attention. In addition to my, I took a tour of the park. While I've been, I've gone around the park, I never really went that well into the park, but I took a close look at the park after the residents brought it to my attention. Noticed a couple of things. One, we had a, a, a stormwater drain that was practically upside down. We got that taken care of. Um, but now we have a plan also. We're working on uh, refurbishing that park. A lot of the walkways there are deteriorated. Um, the trees need to be trimmed and things of that nature. Some of the, uh, the playground uh, some needs some improvements as well. You know, and I've been working with our recreation department as well as our public works department. Um, and we're looking for, and I'm looking forward to now for this summer coming up to have some improvements done to that park. You know, residents in that area in particular, and even from some of the surrounding areas, they come to that park a lot because it's a great park to come, just take a walk, sit down, enjoy and relax, read a book or something like that, you know, and, and it's just a great park. And the residents there in that area really, you know, have enjoyed not only that, but other things that we've been able to do there. Speaking of area. Carteret Park, some of the things you did is uh, changes community day that you've been uh, excited about having in, in Carteret Park you had last year. Yes, last year, and it was a, a wonderful time that we had. You know, we had a number of things, uh, entertainment for the kids as well as adults. We had a bunch of vendors and different information that we brought in. And those are just some of the things that I've tried to do, you know, to bring our community together, to make people aware of what's going on, for us to know our neighbors and who we are. Um, in addition to that, what I do every year uh, is I have a tree lighting. Washington Park that we talked about earlier that we had done. At that spot, every year we have an annual tree lighting where we get together, we bring all the kids, and we have a great time. We have Santa Claus comes in and he gives presents to the kids. We have hot chocolate, we'll have calorillas or some music, you know, and we, have, we spend a great time. It's a great day for the family, for the kids, and for everybody. Um, not only that, but, but in other ways also, I've tried to increase the rateables for the city and working with businesses as well. For an instance, over on South and Moore in Edgarwood Road, there are two new businesses that are going up there. It was an empty lot, a vacant lot. That's another thing. For a long time. For a very long time, absolutely. Um, and it's Tell things, us what's going there. Well, right now at the present time, we're going to have a Capital One bank be in place there and a laundry warehouse that's going to be uh, you know, constructed there. Um, they're already in the process of constructing both. You see the structures. Both of them are up already. And that's moving along very nicely. And I've been working very hard for those vacant properties and lands like that, you know, to try to get them developed because that, that benefits the city, that benefits the taxpayer in the city of Elizabeth, you know. And I've worked to not only do that, but also if, if they can't develop them, well, at least let, let's maintain them clean. You know, there's a lot of times with these properties where the weeds are overgrown and that sort of thing, and, and we make sure that, you know, that at least they keep them clean if they're not going to develop them. You know?